friends coming to the types of rainfall that you observe globally basically for any kind of rainfall the first important factor is formation of clouds clouds have to form how do the, how do the clouds form that matters clouds form in different ways sometimes means based on in what way clouds are forming we will name the types of rainfall types of rainfall does not mean rainfall like this rainfall like not like this rainfalls in same way only rain always the same way only when you look at the rainfall you cannot say why which kind of rainfall when you look at the clouds also you cannot say which kind of rainfall but how do those clouds form how do those clouds form based on that we divide the rainfall in three types there are three types of rainfall one is convectional rainfall convectional second one is orographic rainfall the third one is cyclonic rainfall friends cyclone means again cyclone is two types tropical cyclone and you have got a temperate cyclone tropical cyclone and temperate cyclone are two types of cyclones that you observe okay now what is first of all what is convectional rainfall let us discuss that one friends convection what is convection it is a way of transfer of heat i told you that heat transfers from one body to another body in different ways through conduction or through convection or through radiation there are only three ways in which heat transfers from one body to another body conduction means what when both bodies touch each other for example when take a hot body hot stove you go and put a hand on it what happens the heat transfers from the stove to your hand so there you are directly touching the hot body directly touching the hot body that's why heat is transferring so transfer of heat between the bodies by direct contact is called as conduction whereas convection means movement of molecules friends in the in the conduction when bodies are for example a hot uh, pan touching your hand is there transfer of molecules no there is no transfer of molecules but through the convection i think somebody is coming today right I, whereas through the convection there is a transfer of molecules for example when you when you heat a hot vessel on a gas stove initially the bottom molecules become hotter those molecules travel up cool molecules come down so there is a transfer of molecules because of transfer of molecules if the heat is transferred you call it as radiation. convection what is radiation waves out of these three which one can tra travel without uh, having any medium without a medium radiation radiation does not require any medium for example sun's heat is coming here right do you think from between between sun and earth do we have completely we have medium or some places is vacuum there is vacuum also through vacuum also it is getting transferred but is convection possible in vacuum convection because convection requires movement of molecules if there is no matter no molecules it cannot transfer now similarly convection means see if this is earth earth is a hot body right why earth is hot because of sun's rays as sun's rays fall on the earth earth becomes hot so the gas which is near the earth or that the air the atmosphere which is near the earth will become hot by conduction convection by conduction see the air is directly in contact with the earth the air is directly in contact with the earth that's why this air becomes hot that is conduction but after becoming hot the air will the air rises up the air goes up as the air goes up this this hot air goes up and heats the other air molecules so this kind of heating is called convection, convection. we are talking about that one right now so when the hot air molecules rise up will they transport the water vapor also yes because on the earth lakes rivers oceans are there no so water vapor will be there no when the hot air is rising up the water vapor also mixes with the air that also rises up after rising up for some 2 to 5 kilometers the water vapor will condense into into clouds and there will be rainfall 
this is called convectional rainfall in convectional rainfall how are clouds forming clouds are forming because when the earth becomes hot the air rises up the air becomes warm warm air is lightweight it rises up air rises up it cools down when the air rises up it will cool down as it cools down the water vapor converts into clouds water that is called condensation that condensation creates clouds that is called convectional rainfall okay now tell me does convectional rainfall occur in the polar area no why in polar area earth is not hot how can it occur tell me which which place of the entire earth will have more convectional rainfall yes equator because equator sun's insulation is always very high that's why in equator every day every day in equator there will be convectional rainfall every day at what time early morning or e late evening late morning 8 9 or evening 4 5 okay. why because then only clouds can form why in the morning clouds will not become cool in the morning clouds will be there but it'll be hot hot clouds right hot clouds sir yeah. hmm. actually hot or cool does not matter cloud is there or not at all if cloud is there cloud will fall down that's all friends see why the rainfall in the equator occurs in the evening because the sun's insulation is highest between 12, 1, 2 p.m. Sun's ray, actually friends, sun's rays fall on the earth right from morning 7 a.m. But the earth becomes hot only by 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. Earth has become hot, no. Earth becomes hot only by 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. At that time, at 2 or 3 p.m., when earth becomes hot, from that time, the wind will start rising up. Wind starts rising up, wind will go, clouds, the clouds will form, rainfall occur. That's why rainfall occurs in the equator every day after 2 p.m. Morning at 9 o'clock, the earth itself will not become hot. How can the wind destroy? How can clouds form? You understood? You understood really? That is the idea. That's why uh, you say, along the equator, there will be every day convectional rainfall in the evenings after 3 p.m. or 2 p.m. whatever, but not in the mornings. From 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., there will be rainfall. 6 p.m. again, stop over. All clouds will fall down. All clouds will come as precipitation rainfall. After that, after 6 p.m., new clouds will not form. After 6 p.m., why will clouds form? Earth is not hot now. Like this, okay? So, a convection rainfall. Tell me, you tell me, in India, in which season you find mostly convection rainfall? June, July is not convectional. It is called as monsoon rainfall. It's different. April and May. In April, May, see, April, friends, in April, May, India becomes hot actually. Summer will start now in the month of April. It will become very hot. But monsoon winds will not come. Monsoon winds will come only in June. Ma see, once monsoon wind comes, no, whether it is summer, winter, doesn't matter. Friends, in India, June, July, August, September, rainfall is there, no. That is not because of summer, winter, whatever. That is because monsoon winds are coming at the time. Once monsoon winds come from ocean, rainfall will happen. That is different. I am asking, in India, land becoming hot, air rising up, formation of clouds, rainfall. This kind of rainfall, which months? April, April May. In the April and May, when it is very hot in India, the land becomes hot, we will have convectional rainfall. So, convection rainfall in the April and May, which time rainfall occurs? Morning 9, 10, afternoon 2, 2 3 p.m. In India, not equator. What time? Huh? No, India equator anywhere afternoon only. Because sun becomes hot only in the afternoon, no. The earth becomes hot in the afternoon, no. Earth cannot become hot in the morning, right? Okay. So, that's why April and May, we call it as pre-monsoon showers. Pre-monsoon showers means, shower means rainfall. Pre-monsoon, before the monsoon itself, rainfall occurs. Pre-monsoon showers. Which fruits will grow? In, because pre-monsoon showers, which fruits will grow? Huh? Very good. I thought it will tell grapes or apple, but mango is correct answer. Friends, actually, have you seen mangoes coming up from the month of April itself? How? Mangoes require rainfall, no? But a monsoon winds will come only in the month of June. Then how April we are getting mangoes? Because of convectional rainfall, also called as pre-monsoon showers. 
Do you know what some people call this as? Mango showers. Why they are called mango showers? Because these showers are helping in the cultivation of that's the mango showers. Some people call this as coffee showers. Coffee in Mangalore. In Mangalore also coffee requires uh, rainfall. In April May it occurs coffee showers. Okay. Also during this time April May in West Bengal heavy rainfall occurs along with the dust. West Bengal is a plain area, plain. So a lot of dust will be there. So when the winds blow in the April and May, see April and May, what happens to the friends? April and May, so, uh, it's very hot. When it's very hot, the soil will become dry. See, when it is, uh, when, during the rainy season, the soil will have some moisture. So soil particles will be held together. In April and May, it's very dry, also very hot. So the, the soil becomes dry, no moisture, loose soil. So it will start, start becoming as a dust. That's why in the April and May, West Bengal, Delhi, these places, when the winds blow, a no, lot of dust comes. See, in the rainy season, June, July, even when the wind comes, dust will not come. Why? Because in the rainy season, the soil has some moisture. moisture. When soil has some moisture, it cannot fly up. Along with that, it cannot fly up. Okay? For example, you take some, some soil, dry it, take some soil, pour some water, and now blow the air. Which, which will fly? Dry soil will fly. That's why in the April and May, in the West Bengal and in, in Delhi, you get a lot of winds called as in uh, Delhi, we call it as Lu. Lu. Lu is one kind of wind coming in Delhi. It comes from Rajasthan also. Rajasthan, Delhi, something like that. Dusty wind, lot of dust will be there. They are very hot winds, hot summer winds, April, May. They are very dangerous winds. Whereas in West Bengal, they are called as Kal Baishaki. Kal Baishaki gives rainfall also, rainfall. Convectional rainfall, April and May. Kal Baishaki. It's called as local wind. Why it's local? Why these two are called local winds? Because they occur in one area. Kal Baishaki in West Bengal, Lu in Delhi. So local, they are lo if, it, if it occurs throughout India, throughout India, we don't call them as local wind. So these two are local winds. Okay. Friends, do you understand what is convectional rainfall? Now let us go to the second type of rainfall called as Friends, friends, orographic rainfall means, orography means mountains. Rainfall created because of mountains. Rainfall is not created, clouds are created. In the convectional rainfall, clouds are created because of convection. In the orographic rainfall, clouds are created because of mountains. How, I'll tell you. In the month of June, July, August, September, the monsoon southwest monsoon comes into india right the southwest monsoon comes from where bay of bengal arabian sea indian ocean basically see if this is india from indian ocean winds are coming right when the winds come why the rainfall will come see the winds are coming surface only surface the winds will come the winds will go why rainfall should occur rainfall occurs when the winds come and when these winds rise up then rainfall occurs. But why will these winds rise, rise up? Because of mountains. For example, here because of Himalayas, these winds will hit the Himalayas, rise up. Here because of Western Ghats, winds hit the Western Ghats, rise up. So, because of mountain, the winds coming from the ocean hit the mountain, they rise up. So, due, because of mountains only, the wind is rising up. When the wind rises up, obviously clouds will form. Because when the wind is rising up, it becomes cool. When it becomes cool, the moisture in the wind converts into water. I mean cloud. Water means cloud. And rainfall occur. Rainfall occurs. Okay. That's why he, this is called orographic rainfall. So remember that the monsoon rainfalls of India are mostly orographic only. The monsoon rainfall, June, July, August, September, these rainfall in India are mostly orographic rainfall only because they are because clouds are forming due to the mountains. Whereas April May rainfalls are called as convectional rainfalls because clouds are forming because of convection. Convection. Okay. And I would say that orographic rainfall is the most famous rainfall throughout the world. Most of the places in the world, wherever mountains are there, orographic rainfall occurs. That's why you see near the mountain areas, rainfall is more generally. More rains occur in the mountain areas because of orography only, because winds keep rising up. 
now cyclonic rainfall friends actually cyclone is a large topic i will take a class on tropical cyclone and temperate cyclone it takes some 2 to 3 hours tomorrow next time when i come i'll start with cyclone tropical cyclone one class temperate cyclone two, two classes okay but now i would just tell you how cyclone causes rainfall okay see did i finish the tropical cyclone topic to you tropical cyclone no right finished no ha ah, okay now see friends see now tropical cyclone starts only in the oceans tropical cyclone does not start from the land it it, it does not uh, originate from the land it originates in the ocean tropical cyclone why it is called tropical cyclone you know because these cyclones occur only in the tropical area what are tropical areas in this equator tropic of cancer capricorn bit in this area only it occurs in this area only in this tropical region only you observe the tropical cyclone whereas the cyclones that occur in this area this area this area those cyclones are called as uh, temperate cyclones either they are called as either they are called as uh, temperate cyclones or also some people call them as extra tropical extra means outside extra tropical means outside the tropical cyclone whereas cyclones in this area is called as tropical cyclone now let us discuss about the tropical cyclones <coughs> friends tropical cyclone originates from the ocean why because generally in the ocean any ocean any ocean in the tropical area Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean also, not just Indian Ocean. Any ocean in the tropical area will have generally high temperature. Why the high temperature? Because tropical area means more sun rays, more insulation. Sun rays fall more in the tropical area. So the ocean surface generally warm. At some places, temperature may be even more due to some reasons like high insulation on particular day, whatever. also the winds will keep on blowing on the ocean because in the ocean what happens you know there is no obstruction in the ocean in ocean there are no trees no buildings no mountains no free no so winds can easily become very strong friends when the wind is coming no if there is no obstruction no the wind becomes stronger okay so due to the temperature and wind whatever the pressure will keep on changing in the ocean nobody knows exactly why in the ocean in the entire ocean at some places suddenly low pressures are created low pressures low pressure so in the ocean at some places there will be low pressures wherever low pressure is there the wind will try to come there or go away come there low pressure no all the wind will come there sometimes that low pressure will be intensified it becomes very low it becomes very low because of extremely low pressure this is a low pressure area because of extremely low pressure area in the ocean only i'm talking about because in the ocean only the wind can come very fast from all directions in the land if a low pressure is there wind cannot come very fast because trees will be there buildings mountains plateaus whatever different things will be there also in the land some lake some river some plateau different structures will be there so winds uniformly cannot come but in the ocean there is uniformity completely uniform will be there so winds can easily come from all directions in the ocean so wherever very low pressure is there the winds will try to come from the winds try to occupy the low pressure see if the wind is able to actually enter if the wind is able to enter into low pressure the low pressure will be gone low pressure will be gone no more low pressure but what happens you know they cannot enter because as the wind is trying to come to the low pressure because of coriolis force coriolis it will be deviated in the northern hemisphere when the wind is coming it will move towards right hand side in southern hemisphere when the wind is coming move towards right hand side 
in the northern hemisphere the cyclone actually occurs in the anti clockwise direction not in the clockwise direction anti clockwise in the the cyclone in the northern hemisphere occurs in the anti clockwise direction anti clockwise means like this right huh? it moves like this only it moves in the anti clockwise remember it's very important cyclone around the cyclone circulation of winds in the northern hemisphere is in the anti clockwise cyclone in southern hemisphere the winds will move in the clockwise direction okay so friends now so the winds keep on moving around the winds can never enter inside the winds can never go into the into the low pressure because what happens you know low pressure will be very small only this much low pressure will be there low pressure but around that lot of wind will be there lot of wind almost see this is a low pressure no the winds will be there see great extent see you understand so winds will be, the low pressure is small area only but the winds are almost this is called wall this is called wall wall means the wind the wind wall almost it can go to 200 kilometers 300 kilometers also 300 kilometers wind will be there around the low pressure you understand so very heavy wind all that wind will be moving rotating very furiously okay this is called cyclone so what is cyclone cyclone is a low pressure area around which the winds move vigorously to a long distance of almost 100 to 300 kilometers in case of tropical cyclones i am talking about tropical only temperature is completely different i will come to it later temperate i actually said that when winds are coming they are moving towards their left hand side left hand side left hand side means which hemisphere north south hemisphere south hemisphere understood no see if this is a low pressure area in the southern hemisphere when the wind is coming it will move towards left hand side when wind is coming move towards left hand side so or it is clockwise clockwise in the southern hemisphere whereas in the northern hemisphere northern hemisphere where wind is coming it will move towards right hand side when the wind is moving towards right hand side right hand side so it is a anti clockwise i think nobody is confused here no here i i showed left hand side for southern hemisphere southern hemisphere it is clockwise only northern hemisphere it is anti clockwise all of you can by heart one thing friends northern hemisphere southern hemisphere okay remember this one cyclone anti cyclone remember these two things cyclone and anti cyclone in northern hemisphere cyclone will be anti clockwise southern hemisphere clockwise now anti cyclone means what you know friends anti cyclone means anti cyclone cyclone means what low pressure area cyclone is a low pressure area you tell me anti cyclone is a ha huh? why how how ha huh? very good cyclone is low pressure and high pressure friends for example you take high pressure area in the northern hemisphere northern hemisphere tell me when there is high pressure will, will winds come out of it or go into it kodamato so winds will try to come out of it now this is the northern hemisphere in northern hemisphere wind will deviate towards its right so see coming now right hand side coming right hand side so or it will be clockwise so high anti cyclone high pressure in northern hemisphere it will be cyclone sorry clockwise clockwise here it is and friends this thing i think you should see if you understand well and good if you don't understand you by heart this one at least at least by heart this one low pressure area winds are moving as the winds are compressed they move vigorously the winds will rise up like this they will rise up like spiral and the ocean no ocean has a lot of water vapor no ocean has water vapor why ocean water vapor why ocean has more water vapor than land because more water is there no ocean has water no when sun rays falls it will become hot water vapor so lot of water vapor is there so in cyclone when the water rotating when the air is rotating the the water vapor also rises up along with the wind it goes to a great height but where i'll tell you see if this is a low pressure area no 
if this is the wall if this is the wind wall no tell me will clouds form on the low pressure area or here on the wall on low pressure area winds will not rise up around that around the low pressure area winds rise up in low nothing in the low pressure area, nothing will be there friends if you are standing in low pressure if, if you are standing here no nothing will be there here if you look up nothing will be there around the low pressure only winds will be there there only winds will rise up there only clouds will form also one more important thing is as wind is moving like this there will be centrifugal force that means the clouds forming will they go away or come near go centrifugal force switch on the washing machine put some clothes switch on washing machine it will move washing machine will clothes come to center or fly away fly away like that the clouds also see first of all the, the wind rises up as the wind is rising up clouds will form but those clouds will be outside the wall why because they are thrown away due to centrifugal force you know what centrifugal force centrifugal force means in rotating body rotating body the mass will be thrown out of the radius means thrown outwards not inwards centripetal means inwards so that's why remember always in cyclone clouds will form outside the walls if you are given a chance to stand somewhere where will you stand at center of cyclone or in the walls or outside of the walls center yeah center of cyclone because nothing will happen to you but you cannot go there first of all to go there you have to cross the walls you know when you are trying to cross the walls you cannot go in okay so friends now that's how rainfall occurs in cyclonic area that's what you now now let me tell you when cyc why cyclone comes on to the land cyclone is forming in the ocean no is forming ocean no then how vishakhapatnam can have cyclone vishakhapatnam is in ocean or what vishakhapatnam is land only no why it is coming cyclone because winds will push them friends if cyclone is forming here alpha pedal now cyclone is forming here the northeastern winds what are these winds trade winds you know trade winds between uh, equator and tropic cancer trade winds flow no these trade winds will push the cyclone push cyclone towards here chennai by the is the towards the coast so that's why in the tv9 or whatever tv they tell you know cyclone started in the Arab, uh, bay of bengal it is coming towards chennai coming towards vizag in another three days vizag will be suffering from cyclone you see the news how can they calculate based on the speed for example the distance from here to cyclone is let us say 300 kilometers 300 and the speed of the cyclone is 100 kilometers per day each day in how many it will come it will come to vizag once it comes to vizag or whatever uh, vizag or srikakulam whatever once it comes onto the land on the land also it will move like this tell me this cyclone it is coming something like this which will come first the clouds or the wall or the center clouds. so when cyclone comes first there will be rainfall cyclone is coming friends see coming you are standing here you are in Vishaya but no cyclone is coming first what will come rainfall after that wind first rain when cyclone comes no first there will be rainfall after that wind will come the wind will come for some say this entire wind has to pass through maybe it will take some two to three days or what will come low pressure area when it comes, what will happen? Nothing will happen. You will think cyclone is gone. You will think. After what will happen? Again winds will come. Again winds. After that? Rainfall. After that? Cyclone is gone. What after that? Okay. So friends, see. So, when cyclone crosses the Vishakhapatnam, cross the land, rainfall, winds, nothing, again winds, again rainfall. That is the pattern. That is, the, that is how the weather changes when cyclone comes. You might have observed, people in the coastal areas might have observed. Not only Vaisag, any coastal area, observe, okay? Now, tell me, cyclone can travel in the ocean for almost 10 days also, 10 days. But after coming to the land, why it is not staying? Has anybody faced cyclone, Vishapatna cyclone there 10 days? 10 days means Vishapatna will not be there. Understand? So, why? Why cyclone after coming to Chennai, Vaisag or whatever, why it is... Um, uh, dissipating or why it is weakening becoming weak or stopping within two days why yes very good friends the cyclone has the energy because of the water vapor i'll tell you why the clouds are there no clouds actually water vapor converting into water water means clouds when water vapor converts into clouds it releases a lot of energy 
latent heat of evaporation. I told you, you no. Know, this is ocean, friends. The water first has to become vapor, no. How will the water become vapor? Because of heat. When you heat the water, all that heat is absorbed by the water. The water absorbs all the heat, becomes vapor. So water vapor has a lot of heat energy. Water vapor has got a lot of heat energy. This water vapor is going up. Going up. After going up, it becomes cloud. When water vapor becomes water, energy will be released. All energy will be released. That much energy will come out of clouds. Because of that, cyclone is very strong. Because cyclone has a lot of formation of clouds. But when it, once it comes to the land, in the land who will give water vapor? In the land how is water possible? So the water supply will stop. Cloud formation will stop. Energy will reduce. This is one reason. Second reason why cyclone becomes weak, you know? Wind. Cyclone requires wind, no? But in the land, winds cannot blow so easily. Mountains will be there, houses will be there, trees will be there. Some obstruction obstacle will be there, no? So it becomes weak. These are the two reasons. Water supply will stop, wind supply will stop. So cyclone will stop. Cyclone will die. It's called death of cyclone. Cyclone originating in the ocean, becoming very strong. After coming to the land, it will become weak. It will die. Dying of cyclone. Okay. Now, this is how cyclonic rainfall is seen. 